Now we are going to do numerical number 6 based on electric field and Coulomb's law. Okay. So first of all we will read the question. Consider three charges Q1 equals to 5 micro coulomb located at the origin. Q2 equals to minus 2 micro coulomb and Q3 equals to 5 micro coulomb. Right. So there are three charges and we need to calculate the net force on Q3. Okay, so first of all, we will do step one. We will make fully level sketch diagram and show relevant figures, relevant vectors. Okay, so we'll just make x and y axis first. Okay, okay, this is x axis, this is y axis. Now consider three charges Q1 equals to 5 micro coulomb located at the origin. So what we will do? We will just make this one. This one is Q1 which is 5 micro coulomb and it is located at the origin. Origin means it is 0 and 0. Right? X is 0 and Y is 0. Now Q2 equals to minus 2 micro coulomb located on the y axis at y equals to 0.1 meter. Q2 equals to minus 2 coulomb. Now let us say this is Q2 which is equal to minus 2 micro coulomb. Okay. Located on the y axis. So you, you can see I have located this Q2 on the y axis. The, this is the y axis right. So I have located Q2 on y axis at y equals to 0.1 meter that means the distance is given to you and what is the distance this distance what is this distance 0 0.1 meters okay and q3 equals to 5 micro coulomb at x and y 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 okay so y is 0 0.1 and x is suppose this this point is 0 0.1 here so let us suppose this is my q3 let us write here so this is my q3 which is equal to 5 micro coulombs and x and y equals to 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 meter so you can see this one is here is 0 0.1 meter x axis and this is the y axis 0 0.1 meter okay so that is my 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 okay so this is my q3 here now calculate the net force on q3 so we have to calculate force on Q3, net force. Okay. So in my lecture, I explained that like charges repel and opposite charges attract. Okay. Now we will use this thing. We need to find out the force on Q3. Now if we see this Q3, then there are two more charges which are in effect. Which What are the two more charges? These are Q1 and Q2. Okay. Let us say, let us say this distance this distance here okay let us say this distance is r 2 3 okay this is that vector now what is this one this one will be r 1 3 vector okay now we need to find out the force so how we will calculate the force let us let us take this blue color now now, if we see Q1 and Q3, just see Q1 and Q3, this Q1 here and Q3 
है सो बोथ चार्जेस बोथ चार्जेस आर पॉजिटिव प्लस फाइव माइक्रोकुलम प्लस फाइव माइक्रोकुलम इफ बोथ आर पॉजिटिव दैट मीन्स वॉट दे विल डू दे विल रिपेल ईच अदर दे विल नॉट अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर सो वॉट विल बी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द फोर्स सी इफ क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू वॉट दे विल नॉट अट्रैक्ट सो दे विल गो लाइक दिस सो क्यू वन इज दिस सो वॉट विल बी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस फोर्स इट विल बी दिस डायरेक्शन लाइक दिस सो आई कैन से इट इज एफ वन थ्री आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट इज एफ वन थ्री नाउ नाउ इफ यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन क्यू थ्री एंड क्यू टू ना यू कैन सी लेट एस से लेट एस से क्यू टू एंड क्यू थ्री लाइक दिस सो क्यू टू इज नेगेटिव नेगेटिव टू माइक्रोकुलम एंड क्यू थ्री इज प्लस फाइव माइक्रोकुलम सो वॉट विल हैपन बिटवीन दीज टू चार्जेस दीज आर अपोजिट चार्जेस दे विल अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर लाइक दिस ओके सो दीज टू चार्जेस विल अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर सो सो वॉट विल बी माई डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस फोर्स इट विल बी एफ टू थ्री ओके एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द रिजल्टेंट फोर्स सो रिजल्टेंट फोर्स विल बी समवेयर लाइक केयर and that will be my f3 that i need to find out okay so if you will if you will make this figure that means this figure will be around 3 to 4 marks and you will get 3 to 4 marks here if you if you label everything correctly okay now we need to write the formulas now first of all i will explain you the notations i have written f13 that means what is f13 force on q3 due to q1 remember whatever i am writing at the last like 1 3 so at the last 3 3 is at the last that means it is the force on q3 due to q1 if i am writing f23 what does that mean it is force on q3 due to q Two, you understood this. So because we need to find out F three. So what will be my F three now? What will be vector F three? It will be sum of these two forces. Okay, this will be the sum of these two forces. Now we will apply the Coulomb's law. so i'll explain you the coulomb's law in vector form with this numerical okay how to write the coulomb's law in vector form okay so if i need to write f13 in vector form what you all know the coulomb's law k q1 q3 by distance whatever is the distance so what is the distance now r 13 square okay this is clear but when you write this in the vector form then we will put a unit vector you all know this unit vector right r13 and now for f23 what we will write k q2 q3 upon r 2 3 2 3 and what will be the unit vector r 2 3 and this is my unit vector now we need to replace the unit vector in the vector form how we will replace k q1 q3 by r13 square and when i replace the unit vector it will be r13 vector upon r13 okay the magnitude plus k q2 q3 upon R two three square, and I'm replacing the unit vector now, so it will be R two three vector over R two three. Okay, now I'm just simplifying it. It will be K Q one Q three over R one three cube, and this is my vector form plus K Q two Q three over R two three Q 
cube and this is my vector form. So this will be my total F3. Okay. Now we need to find out the magnitudes, the vectors and the magnitude. So let us say this, this was my step one. Okay. And this is my step two. And now the step three. So what will be my step three? Up uh, now what what I will do? This thing you already you you have already done in the previous chapters, but I'm just telling you now. R one. That means the uh, the coordinates. So that means coordinates at Q one. coordinates at charge q1 so what are the coordinates at q1 it is 0 and 0 you can see here okay 0 and 0 so what i will write 0 i plus 0 j meter okay so you all know i equals to x j equals to y and k equals to z now, if I need to find out the coordinates of R2, what will be the coordinates at Q2? What Q2 is, coordinates are 0 and 0 0.1, right? So, let us see. Here, the coordinates will be 0, 0. Here, the coordinate is 0 and 0 0.1. So, what I will write? 0, I plus 0 0.1, J meter okay now if i need to find r3 you all know what are the coordinates at 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 so what i will write here 0 0.1 i plus 0 0.1 j meter okay now i need to find out r13 vector what will be R13? It will be R3 minus R1. Okay. What is R3? This is R3. So this will be 0 0.1i plus 0 0.1j minus R1. 0i plus 0j. So what will be my answer? It will be 0 0.1i plus 0 0.1j meters. So this will be my R13. Okay. Now I need to find out R23. So what will be my R23? It will be R3 minus R2. Okay. How I will find out? R3, we all know what I what I have to use R3, 0 0.1i plus 0 0.1j minus what is R2, 0i plus 0.1j, 0i plus 0.1j. So by solving it, we'll get 0 0.1i plus 0 j so this is my r2 3 okay and now if it is okay now if i need to let us say it's vector okay now i need to find out the magnitude so r 1 3 what will be the magnitude? You all know the magnitude is, formula of magnitude is under root x square plus y square. Okay. So now what R13, just look at this one. What is x square? 0 0.1 square plus 0 
square y square so what will be the answer so r13 will be 0 0.1414 meter so this will be my r13 the magnitude now if i need to find out the magnitude of r23 that means what i will do 0 0.1 square plus 0 square so So, R23 will be equal to 0 0.1 meters. Okay. Now, the final step. What is the final step? We will substitute all values. So, let us say this is step 4. Step 4. Substitute all values in the formula okay let us say what this is the formula in equation number one so we'll put v because we need to find out f3 so f3 will be equal to k the value of k is 9 into 10 to the power 9 i've taken this k here uh, common then q1 q3 so what is the value of q1 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb q3 is 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb upon it is 0 0.14143 and r13 it is 0 0.1 i plus 0 0.1 j meter okay plus q2 q3 that means minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb upon 0 0.1 meter cube and it is i plus 0 j so i put all the values and i have solved it then the answer will be 79.5 0 0.1 i plus 0 0.1 j minus 90 0 0.1 i plus 0 j and then if we will solve it will be F3 equals to minus 1.04i plus 7.95j. So that will be my force F3. This is my final answer. So suppose in exam this question comes. So you need to break this into steps. The first step will be the picture, the labeled picture. The second step will be the formula. You need to find out the formula. Mention it equation number one. Then step three, all the distance vectors. You need to find out and the magnitude. And then step four, substitute all values in the formula and find the answer. Thank you so much.